my god! Mitchell, that was right next to the freaking rocks! <laughs> Come on, eat it! Eat it! Eat it! Ah, there we go! Because I'm throwing these poppers right here and they are just annihilating them. Already got sucked twice. Yes! Yes! <laughs> They're here, boy! They're gonna be giants! Dude, it was... Yes! <laughs> Alright, landing these things is not going to be easy. Alright guys, this was the second cast and I guarantee it's going to be a big bruiser jack. And uh, yeah, I, me and Mitchell had no idea if the fish were going to be here, but... Yep. Second cast. Yeah, <laughs> got sucked in there, right there. Get re-rigged, no crying, and get back at it. Watch. I'm gonna hit him with the two ounce, with the uh, gambler. Actually, no, nah, we're gonna hit him with the popper. Why should we hit him with the easy swimmer? Let's do the easy swimmer, it's already rigged up. That's what happens when you fish around rocks and jetties. You gotta be prepared. When that fish comes in, you gotta land them. Otherwise, uh, they're gonna own you, you know? Mitch got, just got hooked up, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna cast until Mitchell's actually got his fish so I can go down and land it for him because we don't want another mishap happening. We actually want to load up on shark bait, so all right, time to go land Mitchell's fish. What happened? You pulled hook? So what this jack school does, guys, is it's a giant jack school, and they usually move up and down the inlet to the mouth everywhere. You just got to get lucky and cast when, um, you know, they're there. Oh, I got cut off. I got cut off. I haven't fished in like a month because as you guys will see with this video, i um, been doing a lot of side stuff as far as the business. And um, so yeah, I'm a little rusty as you guys can see. Put the popper on. Oh, <laughs> on the popper. No Did you see that? That was insane. <laughs> Dude, they blew. I love it. That was absolutely insane. Alright, let's we gotta coordinate this. Oh, we're gonna get we're gonna get Mitch, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Just pull on the 80 pound. Just pull on the 80 pound. No no no, don't grab the trap. Alright, good, good, good. Thank you. I'm gonna throw it, I'm gonna throw it, Vic. Huh? That's good, you got it now. <laughs> we are actually gonna keep these jacks, cause guess what? It's shark season, it's 2018, you guys want to see some shark videos, and that's what's happening. No, the ones we lost were bigger, I think. Bigger? <laughs> that popper life, Mitch. Nice, dude. Hey. Dude, I love it when they blow up on the popper. What? I said I love it when they blow up on the popper. Mitch, careful. The leader, the leader. Just grab the 80. There you go. Get him! <laughs> Just throw him over here. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. That was close, dude. Hell yeah, bro. Thank nice. you. Yeah, you got Dude, it. Dude, you're a freaking savage on those rocks. You're like a, a nin, uh, jetty ninja. I'm I don't know. I'm not that sharp guy. Jack grind every single day. I have got a... Oh, 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 o
Go in my bag. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Mitch, this is a better one. Yeah, it's a better one for sure. Yeah! Oh, he's pissed. Oh, well, guys, this is a good one. This ain't no baby. That's a good one. Yeah, it is. There's a buoy right there that I'm worried about. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Clutch job on freaking getting us out here, bro. Yeah, man. This was all Mitch's idea. You guys doubted me. <laughs> Stop, it still hasn't stopped. Keep casting, Chris. Keep casting. Just worried about that buoy, guys. There's a buoy right Where there. Land huh? Where can we land him? Right here? Huh? I don't know. This is going to be a big maybe, one, though. Maybe come back down to where we were at, bro. That's, that was easy. I, oh, I knew it. I knew it was on that buoy. You lost your whole rig? I don't No, I think I got the popper. I don't know. Yeah, I knew it was on that buoy. Yep. All right, well, we're losing tackle today. What do you mean, who's gotten a bite? Did you not just see what happened? Okay, tell me you wouldn't be afraid to eat this thing. You guys, these tsunami poppers are legit, legit, legit. They are some of the best price poppers, too. I just lost that giant one on a smaller one, but guess what? I'm putting a big boy on because there are big jacks here. I see him from time to time come up and check it out. Oh, oh my gosh! Mitchell, that was right next to the freaking rocks! Okay. No. Nope, pulled hook. Literally right next to the rocks. Oh, there we go, there we go. There's boils on it. There's boils on it. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Ah, there we go. All right, that, that should be a bigger one. Oh yeah, that's a bigger one, that's a bigger one. I don't know, someone just cast it over me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're over here, you're, no, no, no. No! Dude, I had like a whole school of them chasing. It feels like he just got eaten, no joke. Like, it feels like he just got eaten. <laughs> right there. guys so that was jack number three finally redeemed myself and got a bigger one this is about a nice it's like a 20 25 pounder but ate that giant tsunami popper i'm gonna get some more guys let me try to talk to you for a little bit it slowed down a lot i've got those three jacks the first one that i hooked i lost as well it got me in the rock straight up and down and then i lost that giant one that thing took like 150 200 yards on the stall and it wrapped me around that buoy in the middle of the inlet and uh yeah, because the that 25 pound jack that I did land, that thing didn't take more than 50 yards line and that big one, it just would not stop. It wasn't stopping, I, I never had him turn. Got me on the buoy, lost him. And uh, we went through quite a bit of tackle. And I don't know, they just seem to have slowed down. We're not really seeing them, not getting blown. Oh, there's one. I just got, there's one. They're out here. That was on the easy swimmer. <laughs> See, it's always when you start to talk about when things slow down is when they turn back up. This isn't a big one. Damn it, man. The rock. 
And another thing we got to work with is there's all these rocks and these rocks don't just stop right here. They kind of go down and these fish will, they're smart. They sit in the current. They'll be like 10 feet down and your main line will rub. Yes! Yes! Woo! <laughs> Get him, boy! All right, I got to re-rig. Come over here. Mitch got one. That's a nice one. Good job. Well, what do you eat? Uh, Diamond Jake. Diamond Jake. Dude, it's something about a popper that they just love. I think they chase it for a while. Oh, yes, right there! He's not very big. Oh, about to get tight. Oh. I lost my popper too. Oh, they're sick way out. Yep, lost the big popper. Hey. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> oh. If um No, don't go in the buoy. Might be a bigger one. Yeah, that's going to be a bigger one. And what they'll do is they'll sit in that current and they have that big broad body and they just turn sideways on you. And that's one of the reasons they fight so hard too. You can't get in that cup, but Here. Yes. Here, here, here. We had no idea this was going to go on. Mitchell's like, let's go to the inlet. I've heard there's big jacks around. First cast, second cast, and it was just game on this entire time. It's just been absolutely epic. Look at our pile. This is all going to be used for shark bait. None of this is going to go to waste, as you guys know. That's five. And, we, uh, we lost plenty. This is oh, five yeah. here. We lost a few. Personally, I think I lost three or four straight up and down that broke me off. Mitch lost. I you lost, lost one straight up and I down. I lost one straight up and down. And it is just, this is probably the most fun thing you can do as a land-based angler, or just a fisherman, just seeing these beasts explode on top of the water on poppers, which is the sickest part. Is I'm throwing these poppers right here and they are just annihilating it. Do you feel the